Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for November 2024. So on November 2nd, we have Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, and how it is that we express ourselves, moving out of Scorpio energy and moving into Sagittarius energy. So first of all, I am going to recommend that you take a listen to the November energy forecast, the overview, the intro that I've put out there for your listening pleasure, just to kind of understand how the dominoes are going to fall throughout the month, the energy shifts that are coming at us. Of course, I'm going to encourage you to download the November energy guide specifically tailored for your zodiac sign in order to keep you in alignment, keep you ahead of the game so that you can roll instead of being dragged. Of course, Mercury moving into Sagittarius energy, this shift is definitely going to be felt, although we're probably not going to be able to put our fingers on it because, of course, we're still in the new moon energy. If you haven't listened to the new moon in Scorpio, I'm going to recommend you do that. If you haven't downloaded your moon guide for that particular moon event, I'm going to recommend you do that as well. Mercury was sitting at the final degrees of that Scorpio energy under that new moon in Scorpio and had some really interesting interesting dynamics pop off as far as the interactions go, meaning there was a beautiful interaction with Mars. There's a beautiful interaction with Pluto. And of course, Mars and Pluto, both rulers over Scorpio season over that new moon in Scorpio. And now that we are kind of moving through this transitional period, this transformational period, we are definitely going to have a major shift in our mental plane. So when Mercury was in Scorpio energy, we had the detective hats on. We were looking back at situations and circumstances, trying to put the pieces together. And of course, specifically back to eclipse season, where now that the new moon in Scorpio has taken place, we're officially out of that eclipse energy and the clarity is definitely going to start coming in. The Scorpio energy had us really asking the deep seated questions of ourselves, of the people that we share our lives with in order to, again, paint a bigger, broader picture. But that Scorpio energy is a little bit dark. And because Sag energy kind of acts as the light at the end of the dark tunnel that is Scorpio energy, we are standing in a bright light. We are standing in a new truth. We are standing in a bigger, broader perspective. The horizons are definitely coming into focus. We have different options, different opportunities available to us now. And with Mercury in Sagittarius, side note, we'll be in Sagittarius energy until January 8th. Why such a long time, you may ask? Well, if you've listened to the November energy forecast overview, you would know that Mercury is going to go retrograde at the end of the month. And so we kind of move into December. We end the retrograde December 15th. Then we retrace our steps all the way through the Sag energy. And of course, that will carry us into the new year. Very important, again, to have the guides that I've created in front of you so that you can capture what is going on for you, because these are the topics and themes that we are going to have to revisit at the beginning of 2025. And side note, Mercury is going to be retrograde in the Sag energy. We have Mars going retrograde, and both of them are going to carry us into 2025. And we are going to have to revisit a lot of the things that we're currently dealing with at the beginning of the year. So instead of kind of moving in the deepest parts of our psyche, instead of kind of, you know, moving into the depths of our thoughts, of our emotions, like we did with Mercury in Scorpio energy, the Sag energy wants to kind of blow our minds, so to speak. Our minds are wide open. We are pushing into a more optimistic lens. We are pushing into a, let's call it mental plane position where hope and faith definitely start being more of a major focus. We are really kind of examining our belief system. We're understanding the information, the knowledge, the wisdom that we've accumulated from previous Tough Love Life lessons and where it is that we need to integrate it, practice it in our present moment, in our here and now. 
And so there is a little bit of a scatterbrain energy that comes with Sag just because we are bouncing all over the place. We want to explore. We want to experiment. Curiosity is pushing us into different areas of interest. And so it's kind of like that squirrel that has ADHD. We are kind of bouncing around from one thing to the next. We are having some big ideas, but we may not be able to focus on them, concentrate on them as long as we need to in order to fully understand them. One thing that we are definitely doing is we're tapping into what I like to call our toddler era, meaning we're going to be asking a lot of questions of ourselves, of the people of the world around us, some existential kind of crisis questions, some philosophical questions, some spiritual questions. We are really looking to kind of understand ourselves and the world we're living in from, you know, a different perspective. We want a deeper meaning. We want a deeper purpose for all of the things that are kind of happening to us or have happened to us. And now we just want to kind of learn. We want to explore. And so the exploration in our mental plane, in our education, in our information, in our knowledge, that is going to be a major focus for this particular transit. Now, there's always a con side, a downside, a shadow side, if you will, to each transit that we kind of look at. And the downside here is that, again, there's inconsistency with our thought process, with, I'm going to call it lack of concentration. We are definitely excitable. We are definitely intrigued. But again, trying to hold that focus for a long period of time, definitely not going to happen. We are more focused on the big picture than we are on the smaller details that make up the greater, grander whole. And while that can be a good thing, because again, getting caught up on the details sometimes means that we create road blockages for ourselves. We also need to understand that focusing on the end goal without breaking it up into those smaller details, definitely doing ourselves a disservice. Now, when it comes to communication, because Mercury is about our communication styles as well, we're a little bit blunt. We have no filter. We're speaking truth. We're just matter of fact to the point. And although that can be a good thing, again, can also be a bad thing. Not a whole lot of people are open and receptive to that kind of communication style. And so even if we're kind of hearing what it is that we're interested in or we want to hear, if the delivery is kind of in our face or too overwhelming, we kind of put up a guard, we shy away from it. And so we do have to be very careful, not only how we are taking other people's information in, but again, how we're kind of communicating or expressing our thoughts, our ideas, our emotions, our opinions outwardly as well. There is a fun vibe with Sagittarius energy, because again, we just went through the darkness. We are in a certain respect, reborn again. There is this pivotal juncture transiting from Scorpio energy to Sag energy, where the rebirth, the resurrection, the renewal definitely takes place. So we're coming out of the funk, out of the darkness, we're moving into the light, and the light is bouncing around in all different places, spotlighting different areas of interest. And this is definitely going to have our interest peak, our curiosity peaked. We are moving into a new learning chapter. We are asking the right kinds of questions in order for us to expand our thoughts, our ideas, our opinions, our perspectives, and most of all, our understanding of situations and circumstances that have already come to pass. 